140 करोड़ लोग इस घटना से शर्मिंदा है विपक्ष सदन में कार्रवाई से भाग रहा है चर्चा से भाग रहा है Manipur is burning and India is angry. A 2 month old video of three tribal women being stripped, paraded naked and sexually assaulted by a mob has shaken the nation's conscience. It's clear that Manipur can't be ignored anymore. We traveled to Manipur for the second time in 2 months and found a state that is a shadow of what it was before violence erupted on the 3rd of May. The remnants of destruction is very clear in Sugnu area. You can see behind me also. These are the remnants of the destruction in this area, which took place during May, and right after that, in various times, this destruction took place in this area. That's what the locals say. You can see that one after the another, the the houses in this region are damaged, absolutely damaged, and there are the cars have also been torched. Would just like to ask. the people out here if they can speak and that's why you protect village at night yeah we protect our village at that bunkers yeah at bunkers why bunker because uh, we uh, to protect from uh the other side from enemies from Whatever, enemy yeah cook from cookies if they uh, enter uh, hiddenly then they can shoot at us Chief Minister Biren Singh who has been brushing aside growing calls for his resignation insists that normalcy is returning to his state when will shanti when will peace come in manipur and why peace is an unknown thing now in manipur no you see kamaka peace is almost uh, returning you know last uh, 10 20 days no unwanted incident was taken place except yesterday's incident in more and the uh, pagakau area so you know some groups are always trying to uh, keep manipur on boiled but we the people we the government are trying to restore normalcy but almost 80 90% has uh, written normalcy there are so many bunkers by the civilians you know from both the sides people with arms they are there you know what and what are you doing to stop this because until and unless uh, disarm uh, things are made things will not fall in place no we have so many checking posts by common people so we have jointly the central uh government and the state government forces security forces jointly destroyed many bunkers both hill and valley and we will continue to destroy we will not allow any kind of bunker in the hills either in the valley but things are far from normal in manipur it took 2 months for the heinous mob assault video to become public now more and more horror stories are emerging from the state it's devastation all around in manipur we are in siro village and this is a house of the locals are saying ki their uh, freedom fighters wife used to stay here she is an old wife the locals are saying that she was burned alive while she was inside and you know here somewhere the uh, bed was there and they are also the relatives are still coming and trying to find out things they are saying this uh, that she was locked from outside and the entire house was set on fire so uh, so you can see the condition of the house and we will like to 
talk to people, the relatives who are here. She is saying that he is the uh, uh, the grandson-in-law of uh, this lady. What was the name? Kya naam tha apka jo dadi saas jo thi? Mera naam Premchand Singh. Nee, dadi ka kya naam tha? Ibiton. Ibiton. Ah. Acha kya hua tha? आप पुलिस हो हाँ पुलिस है हाँ तो और वो क्या फ्रीडम फाइटर थे उनके हस्बैंड हाँ फ्रीडम फाइटर हुआ क्या था और कब हुआ था वो डेट फोर में कुकी लोग ने चला गया आग चला गया उसके घर के अंदर में सुख के रहे और सब चला गया आ यहाँ के लोकल लोग से पूछेंगे क्या हुआ था उस रात उस रात दिन को हुआ था ये सब दिन को दोपहर को हुआ था this is the uh, photo of the young girl, 17 years old girl. She and her friend, the boy, they were going, they were go after tuition classes. They were last located in Nambul. That's what the uh, sources are saying. And that is in between the valley and the hills. The, the girl's father is there. He's absolutely shattered. The police uh, investigation has been uh, is on, but till now there is no information. Uh, what you know? When uh, did you last talk? To what happened actually? Actually, the cyber crime is the, the reported the, the cookie area of the cookie and Naga areas uh, very uh, tourist spot. Very beautiful to the spot at that place, surrounded yes. by cookies. And that cookies are kidnapping both boys and girls. That they throw and the boys handshake also using the cookies leaders. From that, still cyber crime is informed, but no where about is no reported to others. Uh, us. Telephone ki tracking se ham log pata sala hai, wo to udhar hai. और फिर वो लोग के मलरका का फोन तो कुकी वालों ने इस्तेमाल किया है अभी अभी हाँ इसलिए हम लोगों ने ऐसा सुना है और तो कुकी लोग ने किडनैप करके मार डाला है ऐसा सुना है बस ज़रा और पुलिस क्या बोला आपको पुलिस तो सर्चिंग किया है अभी वो लोगों ने लोकेशन दिया है वही है Boys' family is with us, and they are saying that the last phone that they received. Uh, that the police is saying is from the Sisipur area. And this is the photo of the son. Uh, he said that he is going to for a football, uh, to see the football match. And then uh, the miss, they got missing. I talked to the father. What is police saying now? Lastly, I have been able to get a few days in the past few days. I have been able to get a few days. उसी आईडेंटिटी न्यू सिम कार्ड का आईडेंटिटी भी मालूम है उसी जगह में पुलिस ना हमने रिक्वेस्ट किया इंफान पुलिस से इनका ऑफिसर इंसार्ज को सर एटलिस्ट उनको पकड़ो कुछ कुछ क्लू मिलने के लिए लेकिन जवाब दिया उसी जगह को कुकी का जगह है ना हम उसी जगह में जाने से लड़ाई हो सकता है मतलब बहुत डरता है पुलिस वाले इसीलिए इन्वेस्टिगेशन तो ऑलमोस्ट स्टॉपिंग आफ्टर डेट दिस मस पुलिस का इन्वेस्टिगेशन आई थिंक ऐसा होता है कि बच्चे का जो फोन अभी चल रहा है ना अभी भी चल रहा था अभी कभी चलता है कभी ऑफ होता है वो पुलिस के लास्ट इन्वेस्टिगेशन से पता चला है कि वो फोन हमारा बेटा का फोन है लेकिन नया सिम डालकर यूज किया है और सिम होल्डर का पता क्या है वो भी एक कुकी का है जिंदा होगा तो कुछ ना कुछ इन्फॉर्मेशन तो जरूर आया होगा अभी हमको ये सिर्फ कंप्लेन है कि फोर्स की तरफ से सारे ऑल इंडिया गवर्नमेंट से भी हमको गिला है कि अगर हमारे बेटे के साथ ऐसा हुआ जो वी आर ए कमेंटमेंट सो इट हैपेंस टू अस इफ दिस हैपेंस टू सम वीआईपीस फैमिलीज इट मैं भी नो हैपेंस 
women belonging to the same community as one of the accused in the viral video, torched his home. The message was loud and clear. You may be one of us, but what you did was unacceptable. We are in Nupuk and in Sekmai and this is the village where this main accused was from this village a little away from this area is this house which has been set on fire and the villagers here also the Metis they don't support any type of atrocities that's what they are saying then and all the media pipes they are also here and they are they do guard their uh, areas but the point is they don't support any atrocities anything uh, anything bad which should which is which is not good for women we have with the village leader uh, you know you all have expelled that person yeah, yeah. Why and uh, what's the motto? Uh, because of see, that Maitai people, no, we never keep the, that excuse person. We, sh we also had been given uh, his, his, what he did, no? we, what he done. So we are expelled from this village, that excuse person, because of see, uh, this is the, uh, what, you, what, uh, what we, we want to say is that Maitai never keeps such kinds of uh, excuse person. We also give that uh, punishment. Uh, so punishment that means uh, his family, his wife, or his uh, everything should be uh, has been had been expelled from this village. This also kinds of punishment can can give can give by the local people and the local Merapaibi. The families of the women who were paraded naked and assaulted by the mob allege that cops did nothing to help them. <laughs> क्या <laughs> बैठ चुका था लेकिन उसमें फिर जो आदमी लोग ने पुलिस गाड़ी से फिर खींच करके उतरे और उसका वो उसका बाद पुलिस वाले इनको खुश नहीं किया कोई मदद नहीं While the viral video revealed the disturbing reality of rape being weaponized in Manipur it's obvious that women have become collateral in the conflict in both the side, be it valley or the hills, it is the women who are targeted for everything. It is the women and the children who are the weaker section and they are targeted and they are in great difficulty. Not only the horrific videos that has come up, there are more stories and there are more trouble for women. We are in a camp, we can see that there is a very small baby who is what we came to know that is born during the violence time and uh, and there is uh, i mean she is trying to cope with the situation she was pregnant and then she gave birth tell us that how she gave birth uh, to the baby in this violent situation and what problems she is having now uh, she is saying that when this uh, uh, conflict 
this uh, ethnic cleansing begins. She was in a pregnant, you know. So every time they were hiding in a jungle for so many days, you know, before her delivering with the pre mm. while he was uh, pregnant, no? So they used to run in the forest and they hide for some time. Every night they are not able to sleep in their village. So now there. what food, you know, the baby mm. food and everything in this camp, mm. is she able to provide that? He's saying that once we reach here in this relief camp, our leaders, there is no sponsor, there is no donation, we did not get any help from central government, state government. So here the CSO and a very uh, loving uh, CSO leader, tribe leader, have a donation. They collect and uh, provide the basic needs, you know. They could provide them dal, mainly dal, onion, and rice, that's it. This is the story of Manipur, mm -hmm. and this is the real story of Manipur. But it's not only that women are raped. See, a pregnant woman, she has to, she has to go from one jungle to another jungle to give birth to her baby. And uh, during her last days of pregnancy, that's what we are here, that she has to go from one forest to another forest so that the baby in the womb is safe and then she gives birth and she's in a relief camp where basic needs are provided but she's not able to provide proper milk to her baby and that is not only the case all these children see the children's playing inside what we are coming to then and none of them are going to school this is the story of the woman and the children's there's no i mean they can't take education because this is a conflict zone Women are also at the forefront of protests against the violence unfolding in Manipur. The Mira Paibis or Mothers of Manipur are Métis women who are torch-bearing activists in the state. Mira Paibi and the local people, they are also very much upset about this incident and they will not allow anybody who is not uh, good, who has done something which is bad. And you know, all the Mira Paibi, they are all there, they are also women. I would like to talk to them. Ye bataye ki, you know, ye jo koi tha apke village mein jiska video. Aap log khud usko village se bahar nikal diya. Haan. Wo jo galat kar rahe hai, wo humare society mein humare saath rakhna nahi chahti. Is liye usko jiban var nikal diya hai. Aise gandhi logon ko humare society mein rakhne ke liye kya jaroor hai? To ham logon ka to humare saath se humare mai tai communities ke logon humare saath se to wo log galat kar rahe hai. Wo logon ko to saza de diya hai. Itne wo log jo kuki log jo apni kuki communities ke log jo galti kar rahe hai, wo logon ko wo kuki communities log wo logon ko saza kyu nahi de rahe? Ham logon ko usko punishment de diya, uska ghar jala diya hai, aur humare society se jiban var nikal diya hai. तो इसे और बड़ा सजा और को देख सकता है। Another question is आप लोग खुद जो चेक पोस्ट बना के बीच बीच में सब जगह चेकिंग करते उसका क्या जरूरत है? हम लोगों को कोटो डर था कब क्योंकि मिलिटेंस ग्रुप लोग हमारे पास आकर एटेक करे वो लोगों का का तो तरह तरह की हथियार है हमारे पास तो कुछ नहीं है सिर्फ हमारे महिला लोगों के ऊपर ही सब क्षेत्र में सबसे ज़्यादा प्रोटेस्ट प्रॉब्लम होता है ना हम्म और छह साल ही जो सेंट्रल फोर्स हम महिलाओं का ज़्यादा तोचर करते हैं वो लोगों को तो न जाने अचानक से आते हैं तो हम लोगों को जो बिना पुष्टि समझे ऐसे मार पी कैसे करते हैं तो ये कैसा लगता है कि आप लोगों का सबसे बड़ा ईमान मार के टाप लोगों का है महिला ने मनोरमा देवी के टाइम में मारने की कोशिश की वहाँ पर महिलाओं का हाल खराब है तो वो कितना दुख लगता है आप लोगों को हाँ हम एक और फिर ऐसा होना नहीं चाहिए इसलिए तो हमने जो गलत कर रहे हैं उन लोगों को सजा दे दिया था ना। Coming up after the break, we go inside Kuki and Meti villages to look for solutions to the crisis in Manipur.
At the heart of the conflict in Manipur is decades-old ethnic tensions. To keep the Kukis and Metis in check, Central Security Forces have created buffer zones in sensitive areas. Right now, as what you can see, it are all Methi villages and we are standing in between Methi and Kuki villages in YKPI. In Methi villages also, there is presence of forces in those houses. They keep a tab that no one from that side can come to this side. Right now, where we are actually standing, this is the middle zone or the buffer zone where all throughout the day and night, like this, the patrolling takes place. And that side, that side you can see are the Kuki villages. That side are the Kuki villages. And there too there is presence of army in almost various places in the villages. Nobody can from that side can come to this side. And nobody from that side also can come to this side. It's like when two people are fighting, if somebody sits in between, then two people cannot see each other. So like that, this buffer zone has been made here in YKPI. The, both, the, both the sides, they try to stay peacefully. And that's why there is much less violence here. From the buffer zone, we went inside a kooky-dominated village to find out how life has changed for the residents. We're standing in a kooky village called Saimol. Now here also there is presence of army in this, in this village and we'll talk to the cookies to find out that whether this buffer zone has really worked out for them, whether the presence of army has helped them or not. Uh, uh, but uh, you just tell us that, you know, are you all safe? You know, Samne, the other side's village is there. Are you all safe here? Since from June 1, before military comes, our villages are not safe. But since from June 1, when they have reached the village, our, we feel secure and safe, I should say. So can you do farming and all? Yes, they guarantee us or they assure us to do farming, but even yesterday also, while somebody supposed to... You want do, peace? Yes, we want peace. When we're supposed to do farming, uh, they, some of them come and do some blank files. Those so make so you want, uh, see, you want peace? Yes, I want peace. So what is the way you are in front of us? What is the way you are in front of us? The way we are in front of us is in front of us. But when they do this, then our love will start. Is there any help in the army? Yes, there is a lot. When the army came, there was no one. 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 सब आप अपने घर के आराम से रह पाते हो? हाँ हाँ, बिल्कुल आराम से अभी बैठा है और अभी तक तो शांति पे बैठा है हमलोग इससे कोई फ्लैग मीटिंग मीटिंग इन लोगों के साथ होता है? नहीं नहीं आर्मी के साथ मीटिंग मीटिंग होता है कुछ मीटिंग आर्मी के साथ आप लोगों का मीटिंग होता है? हाँ हाँ होता है होता है While the cookies want peace, the sentiment is the same in the nearby Meti-dominated village. From the Kuki village, now we have come to an Methi village that is just behind me. And here also we have seen that there is presence of uh, the army there. Uh, the forces, they are keeping an eye on the Kuki village. So this is a Methi village and we'll try to talk to the people and find out that whether they are safe here or not. Because this is just absolutely in the border. Uh, ठीक है अभी अभी लेकिन तो फिलहाल ठीक है क्योंकि हमारा जितना भी जवान लोग हैं यहाँ पे हैं लेकिन फिर भी हर रात भर ये जो बंदूक बारी कर ये जो आवाज़ चल रहा है निकल रहा है तो इसके लिए हम लोग थोड़ा डर रहे हैं यहाँ पे और जितना भी हमारा महिलाएं हैं तो यहाँ पे हम नहीं रह सकता क्य रात को क्या होगा, बात में क्या होगा, कल क्या होगा? पर अभी जो जवान से हैं यहाँ पे दिन भर रहते बंकर बनाए, उसमें क्या कुछ बेटर हुआ है या पहले जैसा ही है? अभी फिलहाल बेहतर तो हुआ है, लेकिन फिर भी क्या होगा आगे? और क्या होगा ये? आप लोग शांति चाहते हैं? हाँ, हम लोग शांति चाहता हूँ, शांति चाह के भी लेकिन शांति नहीं मिल रहा है अभी ये बात है। शांति है अभी ठीक है, पहले से ठीक है? पहले से अभी थोड़ा ठीक है, अभी हम लोग अभी शांति चाहिए। वो 
lot of them they can speak uh, hindi but their essence is they need peace obviously the forces are there which have kept them secured but they need this peace to continue so this is the story of the of how the forces are trying to keep both the sides at bay so that there is no untoward incidents both side patrollings are there army is present in every villages so that there is no violence that is how this way these zones are maintained the buffer zone is maintained and also they are trying to keep peace in two village two or three more than that villages where both the communities are just standing in front of each other this is kamalika singh gupta with ankshuman roy reporting for cnn news 18 from wine ke pai